Elon Musk announced earlier this month that Tesla's full self-driving V12 would be released in two weeks, and everybody thought he was joking. Nobody believed him. However, it seems that Tesla is now right on track with its rollout, as today we got breaking news that V12 is rolling out to employees. If you don't know what FSD V12 is, very quickly, it is an over-the-air software update to Tesla's vehicles that's going to enable them to drive themselves. And while they can already do that pretty well, V12 has a fundamental difference, and that is that no longer is code telling it what to do, but the system has actually learned itself how to drive by Tesla showing its neural networks, which are otherwise known as machine learning systems, just a bunch of videos of Tesla cars driving. And so the system is learning how to drive by watching these videos. And Elon just tweeted right now, actually, that the system feels like a human driving. So this is just really exciting. FSD V12 is the update that is expected to remove beta from the title. The initial rollout to employees appears more limited in scale than previous updates, considering the magnitude of the changes in this version, but it makes sense to start slow. So the reason that FSD V12 is expected to remove beta from the title is because now that FSD is an end-to-end -end neural network, it seems as if it is going to just get better and better at driving the more video data Tesla is able to show it. Here's me explaining how Tesla uses neural networks to make their cars better at driving themselves. So how does a neural network actually help these cars drive? Well, let's look at this example. This neural network is going to try and determine whether it is fed a square, a circle, or a triangle. This first line you see is the input layer. The hidden layers in the middle is where all of the compute happens. And finally, the neural network will make a decision in the output layer. Every pixel of the circle was fed through the neural network and the neural network concluded that it was a square, so it was wrong. And this happens when you're using your FSD beta. Sometimes the car makes a poor decision. And the way that FSD improves is that beta tester will press the little blue button and that will send that moment, that video footage to Tesla for them to make it better so that next time you come across that scenario, the car does not make a mistake. And the way Tesla does that is through a, a process called back propagation. You can see it there at the bottom right of the image. Tesla feeds video data back into the neural network of a similar situation so that you see all those numbers in the hidden layers. Those will change because what those are are probabilities. And by feeding it more video data, those probabilities change. So when it sees similar situations, their decision changes the more video data they get. So now after switching around the numbers, the neural network thinks that it is a circle. So now it is correct because it was given more data that helped it make more accurate decisions. So I hope that was easy to understand and you can see how the platform is now set for real world AI and Tesla vehicles to become a reality for full self-driving to become far and away safer than human drivers and for robo-taxis to get regulated. And this is because Tesla is continuing to buy more compute and show their neural networks more video. These cars are gaining more experience driving through this vast amount of video data than the 3,000 of you combined. And remember, the video that is being shown to the Tesla neural nets is video that is recorded from other Tesla vehicles driving. This means that the videos the system is watching have the exact same perspective as the car is going to have when it is actually driving in the real world. So there is no difference to the car between watching videos from other Tesla vehicles perspective and its own perspective out on the road. And that is how it is able to generate so much driving experience and use AI to get so good at driving and making predictions. So now a self-driving future is just a matter of time. The stage is set. And now it's just about scale. I am happy with how Tesla is approaching this too. They have been making FST better while having a beta tester behind the wheel. Right now there is around 500,000 beta testers and FST is now confirmed rolling out to China as well. So the amount of beta testers is going to grow like crazy in 2024. And the timing of this internal release is close to two major Tesla events. The Cybertruck delivery event is just a few days away and many eyes will be on the company during the event allowing Tesla to possibly show the world its latest breakthrough. Alternatively, the highly anticipated holiday update, often regarded as the best update of the year, is expected to be released by Santa Musk in the coming weeks, potentially featuring FSD V12 as a significant addition. So I would not be surprised if FSD V12 starts rolling out to customers by Christmas. And by the way, guys, I'm going to be in Palm Springs over the New Year's to visit family. And if any of you live near there and you get FSD V12 in the next few weeks and you'd like to appear on the channel, I'd love to go out for a ride 
and I'll bring my camera and record it. Just send me an email. It can be found in the about section of my channel. Anyways, guys, have a great weekend and thanks for watching.